Hi, Dr. Dave here to demonstrate and explain the top 10 shots from famous pool movies. Every pool player should know these fun and impressive shots, and ideally be able to execute them. This first shot is from the famous 1961 movie called The Hustler, starring Paul Newman, George C. Scott, Jackie Gleason, and Piper Laurie. This is probably the most famous of all the pool movie shots. The cue ball is frozen to the eight, which is frozen to the cushion. The situation might look hopeless, but the bank goes. It helps to hit it at a slight angle with a touch of left to help the cue clear and to transfer a right spin to the eight to redirect it off the cushion to the pocket. You just need to hit high on the cue ball with an open bridge and the cue easily rises up, allowing the cue ball and eight to clear. With this shot, you might think it is impossible to make the 9 in the corner because the cue ball goes off the tangent line of the 1 and the 3 doesn't even move. But if you know how to cheat it, you can make the 9. You just need to exaggerate the follow through and hit the 3 into the 9 with the cue. This is a foul, but it happens so fast an unsuspecting and unknowledgeable spectator or opponent might be impressed. Here's another shot from The Hustler. This shot is actually tough to miss, but it still looks cool. This shot is silly, because in this situation, two easier shots get the win. But that's not fancy enough for Hollywood. Here's another really famous shot featured in a pool movie. This shot can be difficult, especially if you don't have good masse shot technique. If you want to make it easier, you can spray and wipe the cue ball with silicone lubricant. It really slicks up the cue ball and helps it get more spin on the initial hit. The cue ball also slides and spins more before grabbing, so it makes the shot look more impressive. The silicone spray is messy, so be sure to use rubber gloves and paper towels. You might also want to tape a small piece of spare cloth to the table, especially if the shot might take you many tries. This will keep some of the silicone off the table, and it will prevent burn and chalk marks from appearing on the table's cloth. As with all shots like this that might require many tries, it helps to tap the balls in place so they are easy to respot in the frozen positions after each failed attempt. I actually posted a video with this shot many years ago. This is a vintage Dr. Dave video from my old house with the cool stone basement walls. In the comments on that video, several people were convinced the shot was a foul since it looked like the shaft might have hit the one into the corner. That was partly my fault with my poor choice of camera angle. I told them the shot was good, but they didn't believe me. I decided to film the slow motion footage in this video from a different angle so it would be totally clear the shot is not a foul. The shaft clearly does not hit the one. If you want or need help executing shots like this, see the Masse Shot Technique Advice link in the video description. The next two shots are from The Color of Money a 1986 movie starring Tom Cruise, Paul Newman, and Mary Mastrantonio. This movie was a boon to the pool industry, creating amazing widespread interest in our sport. This shot, where you pocket both the 8 and 9, is extremely difficult. The only way to avoid a double kiss is to have the 8 rattle in the pocket before banking cross-corner. Exact placement of the 8 ball is critical. If it is placed with too much angle, it won't make it out of the pocket. It can even fall into the pocket like this. And if it is placed with too little angle, it comes out of the pocket too high. The pocket rattle really gives the 9 plenty of time to clear, avoiding a double kiss. I had to make micro adjustments to the ball placement between each of the attempts, like this. I finally got it to work after about 20 tries.
I don't recommend trying this one at home unless you have a lot of patience. This next shot from The Color of Money is much, much easier. You just need to hit high on the cue ball at a slight angle. A little left spin helps the cue get out of the way and helps hold the cue ball so it doesn't scratch in the corner. Notice how easily the cue gets out of the way with an open bridge. Also notice how the cushion compression helps create the necessary cut angle. The remaining four shots are from Pool Hall Junkies, the 2002 movie starring Mars Callahan, Chaz Palminteri, and Christopher Walken. This first shot is probably the most famous from the movie. It is a carom kick timing shot. You just need to aim the cue in the right direction and hit the cue ball with the right speed, and the shot easily goes. This next shot is a double ticky, where the eight is kissed off two obstacle balls into the pocket. If you want to make the shot more impressive, you can pull the three and five away from the pocket and rail more, although this will make the shot more difficult. Here's another shot from Pool Hall Junkies that is good to practice since it can come up in actual play, where the cue ball is corner hooked. If you hit the opposite point in the right spot, the shot is a piece of cake. Here's another shot worth practicing, where you use a cushion to help jump the cue ball over obstacles. You can use your playing cue for this, and it is much easier to get cue ball height than you might think. In fact, it is easy to overdo it, so don't elevate the back of the cue too much, or use too much speed. Here's a bonus shot from the not-so-famous and not-so-good 1984 pool movie, The Baron and the Kid, starring Johnny Cash. I decided to include this shot since it is so cool and not as hard as it might look. Johnny Cash supposedly made it on the first take after some coaching from Mike Massey. It uses cushion compression to kick out of the frozen squeeze and side spin to reverse the cue ball direction for the wired combo win. In slow motion, you can see how easy it is to extract the cue ball from the frozen ball and cushion. This shot is fun. Give it a try. If you want to learn more about the famous pool movies, see the link in the video description where I have articles that cover each in detail. The articles also contain diagrams for most of the shots in this video. I hope you enjoyed the video and have fun with the shots. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.